Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials and today I will show you how to create Speedlight logo reveal animation in Advanced Effects using Stardust. So create your composition or let's get started. So after you create a composition and as you see here in my comp I have Stardust apply this layer, transition comp and the logo comp here. So right here I have 1080 by 1080 comp and just a logo here so you can drop any logo to work with and transition comp so basically the same size right here to use with the logo comp. So right here I have shape layer with few uh, shapes here just randomly you can drop the shapes here. So the idea now is just to create some nice transition to reveal the logo and also to use it to emit the particles from. So right now, what I want to do here, just apply turbo to this place here, and then just scrim up here, the amount and size around 25 and complexity to 10. You can change the values, doesn't have to be the same. And then I'm going to add directional blur here, and I want to blur that on horizontal here. So let's crank up the blur length as well. So we're going to get some really nice look like this and we want the animation to reveal from right to left you can animate that depends on how we want to reveal animation so i'm just going to go from the right right there and i'm going to keyframe position and scale around three seconds i'm going to scale the shape here and just move that to cover the middle here you can actually hold control and then select uh, the shape you want to move just to create some really nice variation so it's not really just square there so just nice variation and around five seconds just actually just scale this up and just move these to cover the whole comp right there you can see there are some dense areas right there so i'm going to add curves and then just adjust the alpha here so just brighten the areas there so you can just play with that so it's just all white so as you can see here the animation is very quickly nothing complicated so basically you can change the values here depends on the sound effects if you want to make that really fast you can just make a lot of animation just one second or so depend on uh, the sound effects if you want to just sync your transition with the sound effects i'm just going to leave it as it is here and i already have a pre-rendered version here that's i'm going to use so just make sure it is on alpha here so just to use it so you can see the end result of this transition just going to look like that can be different doesn't matter so now let's go back to the main comp here and let's just turn off Stardust for now. You can see now we have transition and the logo comps. So now let's track map these and basically we're just going to reveal these as you can see here. So I want to just move the transition just 10 frames here. And then let's pre-compose both of these and let's read these logo transition here. And so and now I want to just duplicate the logo transition and basically this time I'm going to create the emitting uh, logo. So right here, what I want to do here, let's pre-compose both of these and let's rename these logo emitter here. And let's open that comp here. And so basically now they are both just revealing, but I want to reveal just part of that. So let's just track map these again and invert this one. So you can see how we end up with these. So I'm just going to move the first comp here and you can see just depend on how much you want of that. So just 10 frames around there. And now we can see we got these outlines and to get rid of that, we just need to apply Mad Choker. And by applying that, you can see we got our result there. Immediately, you can play with these uh, parameters here, but I'm going to leave it as it is. So, and now we have the emitting parts we want to use in Stardust. So right now, let's turn on this ballot for this one and go back here to Stardust now. So on Stardust, what I'm going to do here is basically switch to layer and then just 
select the layer here and zero out the speed and we need to crank up here the particles per second and on particle here let's go for really small particles here three you want to randomize that size and also here opacity and probably we're going to leave that just two seconds there and as you can see now the particles emitting from the logo emitter so these areas where we need to fix and Right here, we just need to pop a logo emitter and then on matte choker, we can actually adjust the softness values and it's going to fix that as you can see here. And then I'm going to add a first node just to add some noise animation with transition to the particles. So right here on X, minus 10, 50 and minus 10 on the Y, just a little bit to push here on the Y axis and then just randomize here on the spin and frequency just to create some noise variation to the particles here and on particle node i want just variation on the size just 50 so they are a little bit smaller and over life i want to change the particles here so they are a little bit smaller at the end here and let's also vary the life here as well and on a mirror here i want to get the color from the logo so now they are inheriting these colors from the logo there so and now what i want to do here is just duplicate these layer make sure to unlock here start us so when we select on uh, the layers this switch and then on the second one i want to add turbulence here let's just connect the first so the turbulence node is the last one of fixing these let's solve these and so what i want to do here just reset these wind and then just minus hindering the on the x so they are not pushing too much there and then just 150 on position offset 50 on noise scale and i want just to fix that over life there so just going to look like these as they are animated here so we're going to have a noise variation we want to vary here particles per seconds as well maybe just 50 here on size z on emitter we can change that as we want later on so probably here to zero out life random here and apply glow to this one here just to want have some glow to these you can just play with how the glow you want that to look something like that and then just duplicate another one here and just vary here turbulence uh so let's have these 500 on noise scale and also here just minus maybe 150 for this one just to have variation there and probably just a little bit changing over life there probably here changing the size making these two in opacity as well we just want about five on life random there so we have a few different look to these so now we have three different stardust layers so let's preview and see how this looks like So as you can see here, the animation look pretty cool. Any other adjustments, we can do that later on when we start building up more on this tutorial. So, and now what I want to do here, just duplicate these logo emitter here and turn on visibility. So I want to mix both with the particles here. So revealing and also here the particles here. So what I want to do here is just add vector blur here and let's put there around 10 45 on angle and probably you can keep that on natural now and let's add turbulence displays here and so just 10 on the size probably hindered on amount here to on complexity so let's duplicate this one here again and i want to choose direction and fade in here and I will keep it as it is here and so maybe here just 50 on the amount 1.5 on complexity and change here odd evolution here so you can see we got some variation there control D and just have a different variation here as well just so we can have um, some variation so now they're on top of each other here let's see these to add our screen so we got some really nice variation 
application there. So, and now the next step right now is to build up some lights on these. So I'm going to duplicate this one and let's bring these light zero one and let's just remove these effects here. Let's just solo this one here and then I'm going to add CC radial lower here and I want to keep that to standard there and 90 on amount. So let's move these to the side here and you can see now we got the light going from direction of the particles and that's basically what we need. So let's control D this and I want to link here the center for this one with the first one here so I just have one controller there so for this one maybe 50 and duplicating that just five times here and we want to have different variation for each one here so maybe this one 70 and I will keep that 50 and then add turbine this place again just so we have variation there so maybe 10 and amount 100 maybe 25 here just so we can have some nice variation copy that maybe to the last one here and i want these to be brightest here except the first one just so we can have a really nice variation as you can see here so for now, if we move the first one here, everything is going to change there. Probably let's move these other directions so you can see what's going on. So I'm just going to leave that to the side. So if you have the animation starting from here, you can put that right here or in bottom if you want the animation or you have the transition starting from bottom to the top there. So let's preview all of these together here. So as you can see here, the animation look pretty cool. And so what we need to do is add in the logo reveal itself. So as the transition is happening, we want to reveal the logo. And that's where we're going to add the logo we created the first time here, uh, the logo transition. So we already have the comp here. This uh, is the logo transition. So this one is going to reveal right here so this this place here you can just add that so just going to reveal in here our logo and we can actually stagger these layers few frames here for this one's in the same or the light just so we can have some really nice revealing here okay so now we are revealing these and we have here a little bit of brightness area so we can actually lower these uh radial fast lower here and can also play with opacity if you want to mix things up here it's just going to give you some nice results so we just app to if you want to do that here so you can do a lot of things here you can crank up more of particles right there and now I'm going to add a particle overlay to this. So on Stardust here, let's duplicate this layer and just solo it here. And I want to switch here to box and then let's make these right here bigger to have a really big box right there. And so we can just have some, maybe just 500 on these, 800 on the Z axis. As you can see, we don't need here these glow right there and so i want to animate particles per seconds there so i want that to start at zero we want that to be zero and two seconds we want that to be hindering or a thousand there actually in around seven seconds we want that to zero out that and we want to animate here the origin right here so we want that to start from the side right here and just we want that to be on the other side here so we can have a nice animation as the transition there so we have overlay coming from right to left and on particle here let's just have few variation there and we want to use cloud instead of circle there so we have something like this as you can see we can just variation these clouds here and so you can see how this looks and of course here we can just go for minus 500 and the y maybe minus 250 100 on z just to create variation here and we want spin as well just 
a nice winged animation at the end here. So you can have different values here if you want to. So that's basically up to you. So now we can have really nice animation coming with these um with this nice wind here and you can play with turbulence as well here just so we can have really nice variations as you can see and on stardust here i'm going to render settings and then i want to enable motion blur for this one so we can have really nice motion blur there and i want to add a camera here so we can have a really nice depth of field with that so maybe aperture 150 so we can have some really nice result here so let's preview and see how this looks like Okay, so that's look pretty cool. Maybe it's best you can change that and on a mirror or particle here one just 70% here on per chance here and basically you can adjust here maybe variation of gravity 50 and when spin we just want that to start zero and then start getting into there so just to have a nice uh starting and ending animation here and so now let's just pre-compose all of these here and let's create in these stardust logo here and so now we need to stylize these so i have these cinematic flare here so you can see it's animate right here and i want to add these on top of these comp here and then switch these to add right here and so what i want to do here is just time remap these last flare here and you can see it's actually animating from left to right so hit s and let's just minus these on the x so it start animating from right to left and we want to make it a little bit bigger here just so we have a little bit of room for these and so i want to be for position and i want to animate position for these as well so i want that to start right here with these animation starting from this position there and basically we want that to be the starting position at zero and that three seconds we want these to just follow here so probably right here and we want that basically we just right there with the text so probably right here and so five seconds you can just move these a little bit so depend on lens flares you have and you want to use this is just up to you how we want to stylize this so i'm just going to move these a little bit right there and so now what I want here is time remap these. So at one second we just add a keyframe there and basically we want these lens flare to start when they start showing up or the first transition there. So probably there we want a little bit of lens flare and you can see here we want now these lens flare to be right there. And so what I want to do here is just add motion tile for this so we can mirror these on on the width a little bit so we can cover these parts here and at four seconds we want to add here a keyframe so we want that to be eight seconds for time remap and then just basically set these to tend to fade out so and animation for these so probably here still more particles we can adjust that later on so and now we have these last flare with the whole thing so what i want to do here just add a new adjustment layer is going to be lock and I'm going to add a sharp mask here and then add noise so probably just two and then add colorimetric color for this so I'm going for a blue stencil here and then it's just going to give us a really nice look here so probably here we need a little bit on height to cover the top here so now we have a really nice look and nice blending here so what i want to do now is just pre-compose all of these again here let's bring these logo animation and so what i want to do here just apply shift channel just so we can create some nice chromatic aberration for this and let's zero out blue and green here and then just duplicate these and let's turn on the red and turn on green for second one and we need these to be blue and turn off the other ones here and let's split in these on add here 
and it adds in the one just a little bit to make these one just probably 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 there just a slight variation there which is adding some nice chromatic aberration to these so now i'm going to pre-compose these and this is the final animation here just rename that so this one we just want to add some nice shaking to this so we're going to add a wiggle expression on position here and let's go for 30 and basically we want to animate here these wiggle animations so i'm going to add slider control here and let's link the slider with expression here so we can now have in the animation starting here so depending on the sound effect you are using you can sync actually the camera shaking here with the sound effect so right i'm going to animate these so starting at zero and then three seconds i want these to be three and then hold that for around probably four seconds or so just add another keyframe there so around six seconds we want to zero out these right here. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you can see guys, this looks pretty cool. So there's a few adjustments that you can do to make it look a little bit nicer and adjust different things. So hope you get the idea and find this tutorial very useful for you as always. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.